welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you are new hi new subs um i've noticed i've had a couple over the weekend so i just want to say hello hello to you especially but welcome back to the channel if you're new uh, no welcome back to the channel if you are a subscriber and welcome again if you are new <clears throat> so i just wanted to jump on i've started working in this book tonight and i thought i'd come on and share it um i haven't seen any flips for it i do apologize if there's absolutely hundreds out there um i the reason that i did i've not shared it so far is i thought it was quite old and it was only when i've been looking as i was setting up ready to film that it was actually published in 2001 um by Lom Art Books, um, which I do follow on Instagram. Um, and it it was those that I first see in the circle of life and um Francois Gautier's Dark Art. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna come on and share it. It's a beautiful colouring book. I am a little bit obsessed with the tarot at the minute. Um, sorry, just not the not the camera. Obviously, since I got my beauty of horror, I then went to the works, which is where I got this from, and seeing this and another tarot book, which I will um come on and share. I think I'm always a bit put off about putting flips on of like not new books because in case there's hundreds out there, but I'm just going to do it. Um, and if you want to watch it, then by all means do. So I got I picked this up in the works. It was, I think it was five pound. It should have been nine ninety nine. Um, it's a tarot colouring book. It's illustrated by Alexis E Thompson. The cover is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it was the colour palette that caught my eye. The blues and the pinks and the purples and the teals and the gold foiling, which I'm just trying try and catch it in the light for you. Um. And it's been downstairs, so I'm doing a buddy colour in it. So you will get a sneak peek of that. It's just a bit marker base layer really at the minute. I've only started it today. Um, but the back, <clears throat> it says, Discover the allure of the mystical art of the tarot as you embark on this colouring journey. Cards from the major and minor arcana have been reimagined with a clever contemporary twist, creating a tarot deck unlike any other. Rich with symbolism and designed to convey the true meaning of each card, these beautifully illustrated pages are waiting to be brought to life. She is beautiful. And again, that colour palette is just lovely. So, I just want to do a quick flip. Um, title page, same as the front cover. So if you wanted to, you could copy that colour palette across. I might do that. Um, obviously, this will be nice when it's all coloured in. I'm not going to go through all this, but it gives you a little bit of background on tarot about the deck and how they used. <clears throat> um, and then it gets straight into it. So all the pages feature like the name of the card. So this is the fool. Tells you a little bit about um obviously the imagery on the card so you've got like barnacle gooselings which are these known for the death defying cliff edge leap soon after birth so it symbolizes like stepping into the unknown tells you if you what it means if the card is revealed upright and what it means if it's reversed um but the images i just absolutely love and it follows the same throughout so it has the meaning the imagery symbolized in the card i'm loving this one we've got like some crystals some herbs it's the magician the high priestess so like it's just be like, i'm just seeing lots of gold metallic like rich colors with pomegranates the beautiful illustrations, the Empress, the Emperor, loving these dragons, like an oriental feel. It says the masculine counterparts, the Empress, the, bre the bearded Emperor is a paragon of wisdom, wisdom and experience. Got the Hierophant, so the male equivalent of the High Priestess.
the love is. Like I'm loving the um, like the animal imagery. You'll see the complete difference of the other tarot book. I'll do that as a separate one. The chariot. I'm loving this again. Like lots of gold. I'm thinking silver. It's a wink of Stella strength. Hermit. The paper is lovely. I was a bit unsure. I didn't know what it was going to be like, but you'll see on my page I've used Arteza Alcohol Everblend and I've gone over with a slightly with some um, luminance to start off with and it colours lovely. I think it's the same paper actually as um, Dark Arts. It's nice and thick. It's quite smooth. It does feel quite smooth. Wheel of Fortune. I love these cats. Justice. I absolutely love this page, the hanged man, a bat. Death. I'm loving this. Again, I like I'm seeing like I'm thinking probably I'm gonna maybe stick to a similar feature. I'm probably gonna have to buy a lot of gold. <laughs> but I'm thinking like the name of the card and the border of the card is probably going to be gold. Maybe acrylic. I love this. So it says, so this is temperance and it says it, the card is primarily concerned with balance. The chalice is mixing water with wine represent the duality between the conscious and the subconscious mind. So if it's upright when life feels stressful or chaotic, keeping a sense of composure is paramount. Patience will help the receiver reach their goal as long as they are also guided by a strong sense of purpose. I'd love to get into this this year and really, really learn about it just because it fa it does fascinate me. Loving this. It's reminding me of Sabrina. Did anybody watch um, the Netflix Sabrina the Devil? The Tower. Well, I absolutely love this one. They are, this should be like teal. It's like a bit of a galaxy background again. Some silver ink maybe. That's the star, the moon. The sun. Like I'm loving like the insects that are in this like section. So we've got like that beetle there. The moth. The bee. I mean I'm not a fan of bees at all. But this would look beautiful when it's done. Judgment, and it's like a phoenix. Yet yeah, the phoenix arises from the ashes to the sound of a trumpet call. It's rebirth symbolising the final journey. The world, so you got the world tree. And then it goes into the suits. So this is this one says coins. I think my beauty of horror is pentacles. So they can either be known as yeah. So coins are also known as pentacles. So I think some suit some decks have coins, some have pentacles, and it looks like the, the books are the same. So beauty of horror is pentacles, this is coins. Beautiful. Lots of greens, pinks, I'm thinking. That's gorgeous, like some armed. This is reminding me of, has anybody read A, a, a Course of Thorn and Roses? I'm listening to it at the minute and I feel like this is this is this would be a fae. Like a high fae. Night moves on to the swords. Uh, one, sorry, swords. I don't know if she pulled that thread from. So this is the page that I have started. It is very basic at the minute. Um, it is just a very, very rough layer of marker. I'm going to go over it in pencil. I've started adding some luminance on the hand, um, and I'll, I'll build that up. But yeah, I just sat before and just had a bit of a play. I wanted to try the paper out. Obviously, I've used alcohol markers. It has come through the other side. I'm not that fussed because I can still read. Um, and I'm probably not going to use marker or anything else. So I can I can cope with that. As long as I can still read what the meaning of the card is, I'm not that fussed. Um, so this is a buddy colour with um, Addicted to Colouring. Queen of Wands. She looks cool, doesn't she? 
Devil's Queen. Got the Knight of Wands. The Page of Wands. And Swords. So it doesn't have in here like the one of swords, the two of swords, the three of swords, like it just, it just goes far. It just, it just gives you the main ones. Whereas in here, this is a full deck, so it has got like the one up to ten. Beautiful Peacock. She's absolutely lovely, the Queen of Swords. I'm loving this crown on her head and the butterflies. It's just going to be a really colourful page around it. And then I'm thinking like that, if I keep that same gold frame for every card, it's going to create like a deck. And then finally the cups, I think. I love this one. I'm loving the light like, stylized hands. Beautiful. And she's lovely. So this obviously cups are a water card, I think. Yeah, so it's so each it's like people probably know way more about this than me, but I'm just like still learning. But I find it really interesting. The cups obviously link to water. <coughs> I'm going to say that swords at her just by uh yeah I've just I've literally just clocked on to the fact that it links to like the animals and things in the page. Idiot. Never mind. So this one is water. So you've obviously got like the water imagery. Love this. I love that the card is in the middle and then things are coming over it. Like the background is kind of brings them to life. I love this seahorse one. Like a little seahorse night reminds me of that like Aquaman. Here's a cute little pelican. Loving these fish. And there's a little bit of history on the back. I'm not going to read that. So I will find a link and pop this in the description if it's something you're interested in. I absolutely loved it. It was a bargain. I'm glad I picked it up. I, now that I've started looking at it properly, I was a bit put off. I was like, mm, these are a bit complicated. But now that I've started and I've kind of can see the pages coming to life, I'm really, really excited to start colouring in it. I'm going to pull this gold from the front and take it right the way through, I think. So that was it, just a quick one. I really hope you found it useful. I really hope you enjoyed looking at the pictures as much as I do. Um, let me know your thoughts in the description. And I will, I have got a couple of flip throughs lined up, um, but I have got some other videos in the pipeline as well. But I just thought, I'm back to school and busy. I'm going to try and get sort of some easier videos um, in the bag ready for just publishing. So that is tarot colouring illustrated by alexis e thompson and it is published by long art which i can't believe i didn't even notice hope you liked it please leave me a little thumbs up cheeky little comment don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell notification i will see you all in the next one bye guys